And hello everyone, welcome back to Belkinus Necro Hunt. Nathaniel are standing in the middle of the hallway at the scene. You had just witnessed mere moments ago your alchemist friend Mirth willingly walk through a portal with bloodstride, mouthing the words, I'm sorry, while Lancel lays on the opposite end with a uh, smoking aftermath of a magical attack on his chest. The sound was loud and shook about the entire inn and you know, if anyone here is a light sleeper or would have been awake at the time, you would have clearly heard it right outside your door. I, uh, cool, running out my door. <laughs> Luna is currently sleeping in that field she was sparring in. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> sorry guys. Have heard it then. That's okay. Nope. <laughs> That's okay. But Renee sorry, does guys. like burst through the door. <laughs> what the fuck happened? What was that? Holy shit, it's just like, sees Lance on the ground, sees the Daniel over there yeah. like, oh. <laughs> I am immediately going to run towards Lancel's side. He <gasps> slowly kind oh, of lifts right? himself up. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm all right. I'm all right. Uh, that necromancer will have will have to do better than that if he wanted to do something that would hurt me. But it did push me too far to protect Mirth before they were taken away. I'm sorry. Mirth, Mirth is gone. Mirth uh, has gone with Bloodstride. Oh, and they teleported away after hell. ambushing us. Balfe, this is just wonderful. We fucking <sighs> okay. So, what do you want to do? What is the plan? I'm going to relax and pull or push my glasses up a bit. There is no plan. We continue the what? way that we had meant to go. We leave this town and we resume our journey. We don't know where Bloodstride's gone. There's no way that he could have left a trace so we cannot follow him. Murph <sighs> is a loose end that will have to be tied when we can get to that. You see Lancel's Until eyes widen a bit, but what about the rest of the town? Should they not know what happened? Should we at least not yes. tell them? Of course. I'll talk I'm talking to about what we can actually do. Talking is cheap. Oh. That said... I will... I will discuss things with Juliana. Good. And I open the door and I slam it as loud as I can behind me uh, in the interim my room. in the interim Juliana and you Lancel are going to have to work on defending this town the issue with the protectors isn't going to go away in fact we may have exacerbated the problem by lying to them it was necessary at least we thought it was you see Lancel look down a bit why so glum I <sighs> I worked so hard to gain the trust of this town, and all of this happening, uh, I fear that it might be broken. This wasn't your fault. Correct. This was our fault. If you want to maintain your reputation, simply blame us. Oh, he, well, you he could blame the man up. who actually took the person. He gets up from th the floor. I cannot do that. Oh, of course, if you try to blame me, I will deny it, but uh, it looks better for the hero of this place to have a scapegoat when they need it now. Or you and could blame Bloodstride. Just... Yeah. And then later, I, I will simply say that it was all nonsense. But right now, the people will need a hero. Do you understand? He nods and kind of scratches the back of his neck a bit. I am surprised that... I I thought you wanted me to come along. I do. Truly, I do. But we cannot stay here. And if this town is undefended, this town will be destroyed. I can't think of anybody else who would be better suited to defending it than you. You see his eyes tear up, and he's, you can see he's holding his arms back there, shaking a bit. I, I see like this sort of, I see him holding back, trying to show affection. And in response, uh, I'm going to quickly say, now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to rip the hell out of this child's room. And I'm going to turn, and I'm going to go into Mirth's room, and I'm going to tear it apart until I find evidence of something All where right. he could have gone, and what Lancel, he could have been doing. Lancel, I'm getting like, this shit. 
<laughs> Lancel was was about to go in, but then at mid sentence, as you say those things, Nathaniel, he just kind of backs off, holding the two hands like the uh, you know the um, Neil deGrasse Tyson like whoa like pose, <laughs> and kind of walks along past Renee, and he just just bows a tad. Uh, Miss Renee, good night. <clears throat> she just like pats him on the shoulder. Um, if she can, uh, she probably can reach. She's not t- terribly tall. How yeah. short is Renee? Like, tall. holy crap. Renee is actually fairly tall. It's just everybody else on this team is taller than her. He's not like nine feet tall. I'm pretty sure he could reach. Yeah. So she just gives him like a, a gentle pat on the shoulder and then um, kind of like leans over to him. We're going to Chester City if you want to um, fuck right along with us and find us after all. This is secure if you're comfortable doing that. He Just thinks for a moment. Pat and- <laughs> I appreciate the offer. I will have to mull it over. Uh, just as... I mean, pe- from the sound of it, you really can do whatever the fuck you want. It sounds... As long as you do stay safe. He tilts his Kinda head like a bit. Kind of like over to and, Nathaniel. And he tilts his head and smiles a bit. That is true. And if I ever wish to go against the witch taker's advice, I could just quit, couldn't I? But no. What Would he says really rings quit? true and aligns with my own. I do wish to stay here and protect the town as best I can. All right. Well, I won't stop you. It was nice to finally meet and you, then... Miss Renee. He talks about you a lot. Really? I'm gonna, I'm gonna sw- like swing open the door. <laughs> Renee, I need you. Fuck <laughs> that! Good night. He <laughs> <You're> smiles <right. laughs> and gives and bids you adieu as he walks down the stairs. <laughs> Aww. Aww. My heart. Uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna really quickly say as Renee enters the room, assuming you do. Uh, yep, I do. Uh, I'm following soon. As soon as you're like, hey, I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. What? Of course, I'm going to. Of <laughs> course, I'm going to say. Ignore everything that you just heard. I need you to focus on right now. Uh, I'm focusing. What do you need? Lancel is very good at PR. We are going to need something to say afterwards so that our reputation isn't irreparably damaged. Focus on that. I'll focus on investigating this room. And then scene. Okay, yeah. And All also, right. <laughs> what's your passive investigation again? 21? Hi. Uh, yeah, 21. 21. 21. <laughs> 21. Tearing apart the entire room from, like, from curtains to floorboards. You do find generally the same things that you've found, like, already, like, ex- uh, implementation of necromancy in uh, alchemy, in building, in various different things. And noticeably, a lot of theories that, um, a lot of theory crafting and failed experiments, fail, failure after failure after failure until you reach chapters where Mirth started using necromancy, where some of their inventions started working, some of their alchemy started giving positive results. Aww. And that is what you find. Some very kind of thrown together and not nearly as organized as, for example, yep. Kara's notes, but, mm-hmm. you know, research notes nonetheless. I'm going to gather as many of these research notes up as I can so that they aren't, one, so that they are not found by anybody else, and two, so that I can use them at a later date. (laughs) Very nice. And is that the last thing that you're doing tonight? Totally. Yes. I don't want to wait. It's too many. I don't want to take more time. So, yes. Oh, yeah. You all head to bed, except for Enoch. You noticeably have trouble sleeping. Um, You are restless. I, Mm -hmm. I shoot up, like, I did like I didn't intend to even try and lay down mm-hmm. just sitting across the room from the mirror. Yes, and in the mirror you see a reflection of yourself, albeit more mechanical, bright like the sun and wings, mechanical wings ajar from its back. And you hear a voice. You see what happens when you don't listen to me? Everything that is wrong with me is because of you. Everything that I am is the reason why we're alive. Everything that you are is why everything goes terrible. Hmm. Now let's let's think on that for a second. You did what you believed to be right during that moment, yeah? Instead of what is law, didn't you? I distributed the law the way I dictated it 
Mm. We are a judge. We saw what was right. We saw that there could actually have been peace. And for some strange reason, it all goes right to hell. Right when you're here. Oh, I didn't have anything to do with that. You did that all on your own. And you, my friend, are in danger of use, losing yet another another loved one, aren't you? What happens when Juliana finds out that you've been harboring a necromancer, keeping them safe in her nice little town? I made a promise and I'm going to keep that. She's nice. And I will be fucking damned if you try anything. Because I'm going to remind you our agreement. Every now and again, you get to drive the carriage, but this is my caravan. He tilts his head and kind of rolls it around as if to stretch his neck a bit. You may not like it, but my advice is for everyone's own good. And I think you know that. I know if you had your way, you would burn this place to the ground just on the notion that mirth was here and as if he is extending out of the mirror face to face with you inches away and the world would be better off for it and he vanishes i literally grab a table and i just flip it over and i take the mirror and i just throw it to the ground shatters into several pieces around your boots. Just collapse to the ground. Slight sobbing. And eventually, your tears do put you to sleep as the night goes on. And the new day rises in Rugga Wood. So we can take a long rest. You may complete your long rest. Well Yay! done. Yay! Yay! Ten HP's expired. Cool, but I get oh. everything else back. Oh, it's not like you're gonna get that NP or that temp HP ever again. It's it's not like Ow! I ever let's be honest, I don't really need the temp HP as much as other people do. Let's be honest here. Uh, hello, I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, hello, I am other people too. Yeah, no, I was trying not to be as rude, but yeah, you two really need it. <laughs> Listen, we're squishy. It's fine. <laughs> That's why I'm here. I'm here to protect you guys. That's all. So feel free to uh, to yeah re re add all your class resources, all your HP, all that good stuff. Whoa. Hooray! And whoa, whoa, whoa. a new day dawns on Ruggawood as morning comes and roosters chirp and you can hear some cleaning up in the hallway some sweeping scratching some very mild banging of boards anyone who is inside that is i'd say yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. renee's probably been up for a hot minute once again making sure she is uh print polished ready to go mm -hmm. because yes i really <laughs> respect sure renee's goes. dedication Listen, you gotta look your best. Now, <laughs> give me a good old morning charisma check. I love that this is like the routine for me. <laughs> it's pretty great. I say as I get like nothing. Nice. Oh, I got 20. That's not bad. No one oh, no would even guess how rough a night you just had. As they shouldn't. <laughs> I am perfect. <laughs> no one can know my secrets. <laughs> yes, I'll go to the um, door and see what the heck is going on in the hallway. Uh, you can see that it's tap water now completely fully back and repaired, albeit some of his parts look a little bit different, kind of no longer uniform. And he is sweeping things up. He's nailing things to the board, kind of repairing some of the damage from last night. And he sees you. Ah, Miss Renee, is everything all right? It looks like there was a commotion in here. Oh, so uh, Zerlet's a bit of... Yeah, me too. Uh, she like rubs her eyes a little bit. Uh, there was a bit of commotion, but I think it would be best to uh, in inform when everyone is awake and together, if that is all right. Okay. I there, there was enough that, that happened that it is a, a relative concern, but I would prefer if everyone was up and together. As you wish. Yes, is that all right? 
I will provide some Thank hot you, drinks Water. on the table. Oh, perfect. It is the least I can do you for helping wonderful. protect our town and bringing back mirth. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so that is something that we will talk about in, after we have the, the everyone get together. So Very well. Thank you. And he continues to sweep and stuff. Um, Renee actually will probably also like lightly knock on Enoch's door. See if he's awake. He, he does come to from the knocking and slowly makes his way to the door and open it. Just, just only to the point where you could only see his face. What? Is there shit in there that needs to get paid for? I'm in the room right, right next to you. That was loud as shit. <laughs> I'll fix it. Okay, second thing. Is that anything to do with how you are feeling right now? Or... I don't want to talk about my feelings right now, okay? All right. Uh, we... I'm not trying to pick a fight with you. I'm just asking. And I'm sorry that... It is of a particular thing that you don't want to talk about. That is totally fine. Just checking. Okay? Wait, wait. I'm, yes? I'm sorry. And he opens I the door. Your apology. He opens the door further and shows the room. It is a bit of a mess. Yeah, that's definitely going to need to get paid for. I I can fix it. It's take a few moments, but I can fix it. Alright, is there anything else that particularly needs fixing that I can't see? And you can kind of see him work his hands a bit, and he's a little nervous to take note to this. I think there's something wrong with me. Okay. Well, that is a start. And I need help. That's usually the... Okay. Is there any place to start so that we can know how to help? Or is there something that we need to talk about further? Is it something you want to address with everyone else? Just... I think it's about time that I speak to everyone about it. Okay. Well then, Mr. Uh, I don't know what to call it. Like, she kind of like flicks his, uh, like, is he wearing his hat right now? <laughs> no, his head is ah. a mess. Just. Then she just is going to just be like. <laughs> it's just oh, like, you know, like when you heavily <laughs> sweat throughout the night and your hair is just all sticking, sticking together oh. in the wrong places. It's, it's oh. like that. Oh. Um, she will. Probably grab a like she wouldn't have, wouldn't have a napkin, but it gets like a handkerchief out of her pocket and just take it and like rub it over his head. Just <laughs> yeah, just style it a little bit and like all right, get yourself up, prepped, off your ass, and then we can discuss. All right, and as I am getting ready, I am casting mending on everything I broke. Yep, yep. You easily mend awesome. each thing piece <laughs> by piece together it's not in like massive different chunks that you're not able to put it back together there's still yeah. some sign that there was a kerfuffle in here but uh everything is repaired just maybe a little misplaced okay Renee's getting down whatever to whatever hot beverage is waiting for her as she waits everybody else to get down yep. and Enoch to get his shit together because I need whatever hot drink that is! Yeah. <laughs> While you're heading down and uh, looking for that, uh, Renee, or sorry, uh, Luna. Yeah, yeah there you you're go. You're woken mm -hmm. up by a little fuzzy, just very tingly sensation on your nose. Uh, she'll like kind of like scrunch up her nose and like, like uh, blink. She can't like open her eyes because the sun's too bright, so she just puts a hand up. Like, oh god, what's going on? And you can see that there is a tiny, what looks like a beetle, about the size of your thumb, on your nose, except it looks like it's made out of leaf material. Uh, what are you doing? I want to try and, like, gently pick it up so I'm not hurting it. Yep. You don't want to be that little one. And she, like, starts, like, sitting up in the grass. Her hair is a fucking wreck. <laughs> Has, like, bits of grass and leaves stuck in it. Her, it's down for once, so it's just a mess. Yep. You, you pick it up, and it looks as if it's com 
completely made out of leaves, this beetle, and you kind of put it down on the ground and it opens its wings and you can see that its wings look like it's made out of thin strips of amber that flies off. That was delightful. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she'll, she'll like be like, uh, she'll get up, stretch, then realize she left Absolution unsheathed on the ground because she just kind of flopped back after that happened last night and fell asleep. It doesn't uh, pick look it up. Any, yeah, it doesn't look any worse for wear, luckily, and no, uh, no, beha- no unusual behavior for a sword. Good, good. So pick it up, wipe it off a bit. It's probably covered in dew. Put it back and start making a way towards the 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 golden claw. Like she looks tired, <laughs> like tired. TM, big big circles under her eyes. She had a rough night. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. And, uh, Nathaniel, how did you spend the night? Uh, well, after I finished turning the room upside down, I went back to mine and then started looking through all of my notes. I need to figure this case out. It's starting to become not dangerous, but the longer it goes on, the more problematic it becomes. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's an answer, but it's eluding me. It's It's right in front of my face, but I can't see it yet. Regardless, I eventually do find sleep, and in the morning, I wake up, I look in the mirror, polish my glasses, put them on, put my yellow outfit on, and then walk outside. Unpeel. Because... Stop! Don't, don't! <laughs> don't repeal. you fucking do it! Uh, repeal! I am re- I am... Repeal! I... <laughs> in any case, I, uh... Yeah, uh, I am always beautiful and do not need to worry about any maintenance. My skin I'll be the is... judge of that, and you are right. My... My skin is scaly, <laughs> and so it does not wrinkle, ma- making me eternally beautiful. Uh-huh. It's not fair. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, but once then, I'll make my way downstairs so that I can find the rest of the group. Yep. Uh, and yeah, so, you know, in order uh, of people who make it down, I think it's Renee, then Enoch, followed by Nathaniel, and probably Luna, the last, that make it to the table that had... Uh, had five trays, little saucers. Uh, however, only four of them have cups. As you can see that um, at the bar, you can see that Lancel is sitting, and I'll just show Lancel one more time, just in case people like to look at him. That's boy. boy, the boy. Yes. Show me the banana That's boy. boy. Is the boy. <laughs> Lancel is drinking boy. from one of one of the cups and <laughs> just kind of um, playing, just kind of uh, playing with his fingers, tapping the bar, uh, the front bar, as he he waves you all in without saying much of a word. Luna, who has no idea what happened last night, is just going to wave, take the cup, and put, take the cup, sit down, and then just immediately head on bar. She's tired. (laughs) Do you mind if I fuck with your hair a little bit? Because just absolutely not. You're not walking around like that. I, I I don't really care. Go for it. All right, she just rubs her hands together and starts working. <laughs> yeah, she's got to work cut out for her. This woman's got hair knit, like, to her fucking thighs. Oh, so good. good Listen, job. plenty of time. I, uh, I will sit down and I will order a very black tea. Mm, well, there's already something at, well, you can still order a very black tea if you so wish, but uh, at the table that uh, was designated to you, the four other saucers have cups on them that already have tea, although not black. It is very sweetened and sugared. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> My kind of people. I have a yeah. question. Is coffee a thing that exists in this world? It is, yes. Cool. Good to know. Oh, Joe, I forgot to ask this, and I've been wanting to ask this. Is there, like, one of those, uh, like, little bar pianos here? Not here, no, unfortunately. Okay. Mm. Once everyone's kind of situated, Renee, for sure, will probably, like, if I'm seeing Luna walk in the fuck for the fucking front door instead of, you know, down the stairs if she had stayed in her <laughs> no, She has bits um, of grass stuck in her hair. Yeah. And twigs yeah, and leaves. As, so. <laughs> as she's doing that, she's probably like fiddling with it and goes, all right, so who wants to be the one to uh, break the window for Luna or shall I? Oh, what happened? Mirth has gone with blood uh, Fun shit. Excuse me? Why didn't she just like <laughs> stand up? I sip there on my is. tea. Yep. You can see Lancel yep. completely like glance over and a little startled and flinches a bit at the sudden loud boom and slam, and he spills a little bit of his own tea. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, no. dear. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dear. Uh, it's I'm... 
Uh, it's speculation at best. It could be coercion. I we don't, don't know for sure, but... He, they said, I'm sorry, before going through the portal. I'm fairly certain that it was oh, voluntary. Fun. Probably under duress. I oh, perhaps. Mean, we don't know for something. I doubt this. Either thing. way, all we, all we know is that Mouth is now left with Bloodstride, and we don't know where the fuck they went. Wonderful. Fucking fantastic. While she you just guys like are... sits down mm-hmm. and puts her head like, like covers her her eyes with her hand, like you know that like I'm so done. While you guys are having this conversation, Lancel kind of calls over Tapwater, who has head downstairs, and he whispers something to Tapwater. Tapwater nods, and he heads into the room and quickly comes out with a large, what looks like a door-like object, and props it up, and he kind of encircles the table you guys are at with it. Lancel tells me you are having a private conversation, so I will put this so that nobody can eavesdrop in. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Thank you. I'm sorry, what is what this? Is this is a screen, what? you know, like those Japanese screens, except oh. this one's made out of wood. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. I appreciate this. <laughs> I mean, eventually it's not going to be private anymore, so... I hear the best eventually way to be private is to be... whisper very quietly. I do. Uh, that is very true. Very, thank you very much, Tapwater. Uh, Let me know if you need a... a refill on your tea. I will get back to cleaning yes. the tavern. Uh, I would, I would like you... a black tea, please. Do you happen to have co- Do you happen to serve coffee here by any chance? We do. Yes. May I have a cup, please? Of course, Miss Luna. And he leaves you there and starts to go brew both. Now. Now, Lancel, there are a few questions that I have. First and foremost, I was walking into Mirth's room when you were attacked. Did they teleport in and then out? How did Bloodstride get into the room? Did you see? He did, indeed. He teleported in, and I tried to chase him off and convince Mirth to stay with us. Uh, I assumed with the talk that you had with them, they would be convinced, but Bloodstride said a few words. I I was too blinded with wanting to save them. I didn't. I'm sorry. I I don't quite remember. My mind is fuzzy. But... My... Oh, continue. He blasted me into the very end of the hallway, which, now that I'm thinking, if he wanted to hurt me, he very well could have. He's demonstrated that he's a very powerful mage. Wait, if Bloodstride attacked you or Merth? Bloodstride did. Okay, sorry. I will, like, at the mention of he said a few words and then Merth went with him, I stop drinking, and I will gently put down my tea, open up my ledger, and I will begin to write into it. I look towards right. Nathaniel. You have to understand that there is possible evidence that presides over this. Of course. Oh, of course, uh, but until then not, you have to bring them in. I do not believe that Mirth didn't go of his own free will. However, to act on that as truth is unbecoming of an investigator. You go with all possible leads, and then you find out which is the truth later. That said, they've gone with the necromancer. That means that they are dangerous right now. I don't intend to put them to death, but I do intend to capture them. You see Lancel scratching his chin a bit. It did not seem that Mirth was familiar with Bloodstride. I assume they are not the same necromancer as the one that gave them the book. I can only imagine that there might be something... Something at least that could have... And he's just like trying to think it all over. It does seem like there might be another if, necromancer at work. If you would like my current theory, it doesn't have much basis, but Bloodstride has been investigating us just as much as we have him. If Mirth doesn't know Bloodstride, and he spoke a few words to Mirth before they went with him, there is a possibility that he studied my charm magics and used them on Mirth. The thing Renee that, looks very concerned because she knows what those less, do. The thing that makes that less probable is much like my species. Mirth is a satyr. We are both resistant to magical effects. That doesn't mean it's impossible, only less likely. Mirth could also have been threatened. Perhaps. I don't think anyone here is. I don't. You know. I don't think anyone here is thinking that it is trying to say that Mirth absolutely did this and that he absolutely is a criminal, but we do have to 
or that they absolutely are criminal, but we do need to explore all, all options here. The fact is, they went with them. Whether First or not first, it was of, catch them. whether or not it was of their own accord or not is not not the case anymore. The fact is, they are currently with Bloodstride and the cult and the Spine of Death, and that makes them dangerous. They're already dabbling. They could be, easily have the mind poisoned further. I'm not disagreeing with you. I am simply stating the fact that it is better to consider he's innocent until proven guilty. That's of course, that's why you bring someone in alive. You see Lancel exactly crosses his arms and nod in agreement. I don't think anybody here is... I don't think anybody here actively wants to go out and kill Mirth. I think we want to capture I, them, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm assuring I, you that I'm agreeing with you. I know, I agree I just, with you. We should wait until it's proven. It's proven, yes. Okay. So, I just Sorry. need a bit of convincing right now, okay? I just... a little bit. You see Lancel speak up. What little I know of Mirth is they do not do many things out of malice, if any. They are a kind heart. I'm sure there is some explanation behind all of this. I truly believe that their intentions are good. I, I, I really do. I, I don't think that they're trying to do anything wrong. I think... I, I genuinely believe they're misguided, but one still needs to be held accountable for their actions, and should they be found to be doing things more unsavory, they need to be held accountable for it. Then of we course. best. Then we, we try our best to make sure that accountability is nothing drastic. Yes. Be yes, Renee? I was going to say, speaking of accountability, um, do we know if there will be next door defenses put up around uh, the, the town in the past? Oh, I don't know if you are well, so at the very least, someone on the lookout. I definitely told Just uh, then, Juliana right on to cue, the door try. slams open and your screen shakes. Oh, and <laughs> you see, ah, or you hear a very familiar voice. Good morning! I heard commotion, ah. and I am here to fix it. Yeah, I'm, I immediately know. pull my oh, hat fuck. down over my eyes. You know, I'm ah. glad it. I'm glad it was Juliana, because I thought it was going to be the fucking Genasi. <laughs> Me too. Listen, I, when I tell you, my my brain just dropped. I was like, oh dear, here we go. <laughs> okay. Listen, I I, I uh, have sure. very little patience. I'm gonna like oh, peek open the screen. Yep, what? and as you do, you can see you can see that there's tap water like inches away, and he he's holding two oh, God. cups. I was waiting until you were finished with your conversation. I made sure to close off my ears. Oh, uh, thank oh, you. I That's very that. polite of you. I did not want to That's interrupt. Fair. Here is your coffee, and here is Mr. Nathaniel's tea. Thank you so much. So I'll I'll pass Nathaniel his tea. I drink it. It tastes like my soul. <laughs> you, Juliana looks over. You can see Juliana from the corner of your eye, uh, Luna, and she is just sitting there. She notices the screen around her table. She's like, Whenever you are finished having secret conversation, I want to talk with you. Are we. Are we. Which bear? Are oh, we sorry, ready? Are, are we ready to uh, talk I, to her? Which bears a question. Lancel, have you begun dragging your name through the mud? I have not. No, why would I? Wait, wait, Fantastic. why? You told Wait, him to what? do what? Fantastic. Wait, right. we should... You told him to do what? <laughs> Fantastic. We should leave before that happens. Uh, however, we should talk to Juliana first. I... Right. Nathaniel, I have a reputation I need to keep as a sword for hire. Can you please keep that in mind? I also it's like not to going to drag it that they... deep. It's going to be a little bit of shallow failure. It's not going to be an absolute utter disgrace. It's just Okay, but if this costs me a job in the future, I will be coming back to Belkinus to speak to the Witch Taker. And I'm sure I will be able to pay for that. That said, we should talk to Julia. Wait, uh, you not wanted to say something? Oh. And right. I, I point out to Nathaniel, if you remember what I've told you, every lie is a debt. Ah, right. I suppose that Murph is our new one. <laughs> oh, shit. And somebody is always collateral. Okay, okay, uh, we're not having that conversation yes, now. Yes. We are not doing well, that now, again. Let's just talk to Juliana, please. I'm not about to get into the whole... Deadpool that exists I, I, right now. Right. All right, we're ready for you, Juliana. Let's get the screen. Yep, um, and uh, and you see, you kind of give a gesture to Tapwater, and he goes, I shall remove 
the screen of secrecy. And he takes it, folds it back up, and takes it back <laughs> into the back room. Water. <laughs> Thank you, Tap Water. I keep thinking you can't make a better NPC. And then you make another NPC I love. Oh, I love this beautiful robot. I shall remove the screen of secrecy. <laughs> Tap Water, you made what am I? The screen of secrecy. <laughs> 10 out of 10. He nailed okay. me. The only regret is that I didn't have enough time to draw tap water. I yeah. will draw tap water. Okay. Maybe in the future we will have a robotic tap water drawing, but yes. that is not necessary. Now. I will make that my mission next week. Uh, of course. Awesome. I give you full uh, <laughs> interpretation. So Yay. yes, you guys, uh, tap water removes the screen of secrecy and you can see that Juliana <laughs> is, uh, you know, dressed as casually as normal, just kind of wearing a very similarly ragged set of clothes, not much caring for much appearances. Except you can it, see uh, who's who's got the highest no, passive perception here? Probably Nathaniel. Um, I have passive well, per perception. Yeah, well, it was Nathaniel. Actually, why am I even... Yeah, it's probably Nathaniel. How much? <laughs> probably. 19. 19. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's no, Nathaniel. It's you. With a 19, oh, yeah. Nathaniel, you noticeably see that uh, she has actually cleaned up a little bit. Not that she was dirty before, but she maybe, mm -hmm. you know, took a, an extra clean bath beforehand. Maybe her hair is a little bit done up. And uh, the nails that keep her bun have been replaced with kind of actual normal little, like, picks. Aww. I think, uh, I think to myself, well, she is about to be very disappointed. Rip. I do not say that out loud. <laughs> Damn. Oh. <laughs> oh, poor girl she, got herself all gussied up. She yeah, to hear that this guy fucking just. Uh, she mind. rolls up to the table next to Enoch and like deliberately leans against him, like with oh. no subtlety whatsoever. Oh, okay. His, oh, heart I love that. His heart drops like probably 20 stories. And looks to everyone. So I hear commotion. What is commotion? Uh, um, Pulling well, the hat further over the eyes. I'm just looking at Nathaniel. Like, he should break that we, news. We are about to be leaving. More importantly, our situation with the peacekeepers or the protectors, or whatever the name was. This was uh, the, the protectors. Um, yes, the, the remember protectors. when I told you you're still there to maybe up the defenses a little bit? Um, I'm. I may have pulled a little bit of a. Um, it would not be a, a joke. It's a little bit further than that. Um, a little bit of a show in order to uh, get mouth back, and they might be a little bit pissed off this morning to find out that their uh, wonderful golden knife is not actually a golden knife. It's just a, a regular one. <laughs> Still mm. a good con, though. I bought us maybe a few hours. The important so. thing is that they have reason to attack us. Well, the town yes. at least. Then I will make sure defenses are good. I hear Mirth is inventing some sort of automaton. Which, of course, brings us to our next problem. And I look at yes. Enoch. Do you want it to be me? No. All and right. I turn in my chair and I look... Juliana in the eye, and I think about what Alter had said. <sighs> Juliana, I've... I told you last night there was... I, I, I told you last night we ran into a necromancer. Yes, and you take care of them. Very good. I didn't tell you it was Mirth. Her eyes get tall, and for once, her eyebrows raise into worry, and her frown goes from, from an angry one to one of sadness and disappointment, and she rolls backwards a few inches. What? I... I... He... He did. He didn't do it out of malice or out of trying to do something sick or twisted. They they were just trying to find a way to protect the town with the automaton. They 
they were building. You see her eyebrows narrow, and she rolls up closer, this time facing you rather than leaning on you. You willingly let necromancer filth stay in my town? I... I tried to stop them. I I asked them to stop. And yet I you know Murph begged. cracked his corpse magic, and you do not tell me. They are the reason the spine keeps coming back. They are why protectors keep coming back. They are not welcome in uh, Wood. And you, who do not turn them in, are not either. I passed judgment. God damn it. I passed judgment. She lifts her hand uh, up in front of her and closes her eyes and you can see tears roll down her cheeks. Enoch, you are right. You are not good man. And you will leave my town and never come Ooh. back. Ooh. All of you. I stand up. Yeah, same, and I start walking out. I, is, is Tapwater here? You see he is, and he's just standing, and when you look at him, he averts his gaze. I will say, thank you for the tea. And I will leave. Enoch stands up. And tries to step forward towards Juliana. She rolls, Please, she I rolls to turn around and heads in the opposite direction to the other end of the room, not to face you. And you can see her shoulder shake a bit. You can tell I, she's crying. Ah, my heart. I try to make it right. She lifts her, her hand and points to the door. Go! He slowly begins to move out towards the door. And before he exits, I promise I will make it right. She says nothing, and you can just see that she's, without looking at you, her back is turned to you, she's shaking her head. Now, hand on her face, rubbing her tears. And... Enoch leaves. Renee's just been quietly observing all of this at the table as everyone gets up one by one. <laughs> you can see uh, tap water uh, okay, look sorry. at you like he really wants to say something as well, but he just takes a few steps back, heads back into the back room. Oh. Uh, did Luna leave too? I'm yeah, Luna asking. left, but as okay, soon cool. as like we were told we're cool. not welcome here, she got up and Double she confirmed. left. Double confirmed. Mm -hmm. Double confirmed. Cool. Um, as, as Renee gets up, um, she is going to walk past Juliana's chair, but she's going to um, stop for a brief pause and just say, um, do, you t do you throw a child into prison for stealing an apple for the sibling who cannot eat? You see that she stops rubbing her tears, but no response. Or do, you, or do you try to help them understand why it is wrong and help them find a way to pay for that apple themselves? so they can help the person they care about. She turns her chair, averting her face to you now, making sure to not look at you, and she rolls into the back room where tap water was. You are now alone in the she tavern. She just... That's fine. She'll leave. She just wanted to... She just wanted that to be known. Outside, you do see Lancel is out there as well, waiting for you, uh, as he kind of left yeah. early in the conversation. And Renee he's just seeing you sighs. off. Ah, <laughs> oh, merde. Uh, I will ask him. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want to say something? No, 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 no. Go ahead. Uh, I will ask Lancel. Are you going to be... Will you be safe? Yes. Uh, if you've taught me anything, Witchtaker, it's that uh, plausible deniability is a very, very strong tool. And I think I am separated enough from you that I can perhaps regain my own reputation here, and maybe even mend yours in some worlds. I will at least try. I would appreciate it. And tell me, Lancel, would you have done the same thing? He looks up to the sky. It's very, it's a very clear sky with the occasional cloud passing. 
I don't know. Uh, I guess this journey is for me to find out the answer to that question, as that question seems to come up a lot whenever I watch what you do. I suppose a better question. If I asked you to come with us, could you leave this town to its fate? He looks around and sees the various people that are talking. There are a few packing things into carts. There are a few coming in. Farmers tilling the soil. Children playing, throwing balls and kicking dirt. He looks back to you. I'd rather die. That's good. And he In nods case, and kind of just pats I, a little on, on your shoulder a little bit. In that case, I will see you when, it, when I get back. And if you die, I am going to fire you. He closes his eyes and sighs. <laughs> a fate worse than death. I put my God, hand that's on his fucking shoulder. Light. <laughs> I put my hand on his shoulder. That is fucking right. Where do you find people like you? <laughs> oh my god. I'm sitting here over to have his shown face, but I can't do it, man. Yeah. Oh my god. You notice that he's genuinely surprised at that, and he's like you, you see he's looking a little bit bashful at the F-bomb that you just dropped. <laughs> and he just looks around. Uh, I think you best get going soon now. Juliana is quite the gossiper. And right. I don't think you have much time before people start labeling you as necromancy sympathizers. We oh, fuck that shit. <laughs> we don't have a lot of time. We need to get on the road. Yes. Hmm. Uh, you be careful. Don't die. Renee's going to go give him a, a farewell smooch on cheek. Lancel's getting a farewell smooch on cheek, and she's gonna leave. But she's also looking immediately at Nathaniel for a reaction. <laughs> you can see Wait, that. What did you just do? He's I just off kissed guard. him on the cheek, you bitch. What you gonna do? He's caught off guard, and he looks around. He's scratching the back of his. Oh, uh, Miss Renee, thank you. Uh, I, I assume this is something from your where you're from. Uh, that's very kind of yes, you. Yes, it's for luck. Don't die. Of course. Yes. But she's also looking over at Nathaniel for a reaction. Uh, uh, I'm the going to roll deception. The dragon. You may roll insight <laughs> if you would continue. like. <laughs> okay. Um, do oh, I have God, to if I read the... your thoughts? <laughs> Basically, wait. Can you read my surface thought? I can do detect thoughts, bitch! No, you can read my surface <laughs> thoughts! Nathaniel notices you casting this spell, and uh, you now understand Nathaniel's surface level thoughts, which are... Why are you casting this spell? Wait, I've seen that spell before. Oh, she's casting to take thoughts. Butterscotch. 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 And she just like, looks over at him and Oh, you fucking bitch. <laughs> oh, right. Are we going to... Are we getting a move on or what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I assume you guys are right, walking and talking. Yeah. Of course, let's go. Yeah, and, we're uh, walking and talking. Yes, you guys head out of Ruggawood before things can get, you know... Accusatory there. I'm so sad. <laughs> and you guys head on out and start to travel and have a bit of downtime. Is there anything anybody would like to do along the way while they travel? Let me go back to the trusty map screen. It is now day six of 14. Okay. And I've, I've not been calling out the days because I keep forgetting, but counting it back, this is day six now. Thank uh, you. So we are just leaving Ruggerwood. We're making yep. it to Chester City. Way. How long is it going Making to take for us to get to Chester City? A day and a half. Yeah. Okay. Each hexagon so is will... one day's travel. Got it. So we will spend this entire day traveling. Yep. Actually, you would be there. So yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we would spend this entire day traveling. Oh my yeah, god! It's only eighteen right, right feet there. away. <laughs> oh my wow. god! <laughs> oh my god! It's so Wait. close. <laughs> <laughs> I cast misty step. Uh, okay. In that case, I have nothing to do. Uh, the 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 only thing I would like to do is once we like rest, but I don't know how long it's going to take. So mm -hmm. yeah, until it's, then, it's still morning. So you've got plenty of yep. time before anything. Cool. Yep. Eventful Until happens. then, we are good. Anything else? Some crafting on the way. I have uh, nothing to craft. <laughs> I mean, Enoch if, if we're... Yeah. Uh, Enoch does have bullets that he needs to make. Okay. Uh, <gasps> are you going to make them out of the iron or the silver? Iron. Okay, so you can roll me the uh, the craft check for that. 
Here we go. Hey, you make a Damn. full set of 20 bullets. Woo! 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 Out of the, out of he, the He's trying bar. to focus his mind on it. He doesn't uh, want to think about it. Yeah, with your mind ah. trying to kept, be kept off and you're trying to find purpose to distract you, you make them with full focus. There is a lot of little pots and dings in the work and there's just a lot of mind going into the furnace kind of deal mm -hmm. oh, and I, I would say yeah like that that doesn't take too long of a stop and you kind of do it along the way kind of while you guys rest to catch your breath and stuff like that and let's see along the way for the record, we haven't taken we have that wasn't during like a camp. No, right? it was not. No. Okay. Just uh, on the way. Yeah. I didn't normal. lie about I, I lied because there's been something that I've been meaning to do and I continually forget about well, it. Oh, here's a remember chance. When, remember when fucking No Tail like sold us the stick of stickiness and the ruined yeah. Wicker Belt? <laughs> yeah, I remember. I'm going to spend some time to try to attune to those things. <laughs> Mm. And, yes. if, okay. and if that fails, well, then I guess I still just have the stick. You look really hard at the stick, and you do not attune to it. And you would know, you okay. know, you like I. Yep. I'm going to say that attuning is a thing that you can feel. Right. However, oh. you do attune to the ruined wicker belt. Oh, that's good. Weird. Uh, I'll look over to Renee. Hmm? Renee, can you identify this? I have attuned with a magical item. Don't you think you should have done yeah, that? Yeah, but don't, 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 you know what? This is in your. Oh, yes, I'll take a look at it. If, if that thing is cursed, you are just going to be cursed. I'm sure. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Uh, boom, detect magic. What is this stick? No, no, the belt. Oh, Renee. the belt. Sorry, the belt. All right. I apologize. You know what I'm doing. You detect the magic now. on the belt, and you can sense a belt. weak aura, but it is there. You can sense that this belt. Have, has every school of magic attached to it. Oh my god, is this just the <gasps> Wand of Wonders as a belt? Holy shit. <laughs> she just like, like she kind of looks at it, her mouth goes, her mouth opens, and it closes. And it opens again. Uh, closes again. Hmm. Okay. All right. Um, so... You know how you very much m would like to maybe, you know, try different things, you know, different kinds of magic. You can do that now. Wait, all schools as in it has necromancy on it, too? It most certainly does. Wh what? <laughs> better fucking not. But yeah, <laughs> like be I'm not saying that out loud, but like, yes. So um, very much um, you're pretty much free lane to experiment if you so choose. With different kinds of magic. Very well. Uh, I'm going to just stare off into the distance and think really hard about evocation magic. <laughs> <laughs> also, as he's like staring off in the distance, she's going to lean in. So am I fired now? We never set a date for that bet. That depends. Can you further identify this item so that I understand what the, th what the hell it does? Well, that depends. Am I still employed? Right, the bet. We hadn't decided on a time, but if you want to be fired, then you are. But now you're I'm rehired. not fired just yet! <laughs> oh, well. You too. I suppose that your termination is going to have to be put on hold. Please, identify this item. Alright, I'll identify it. Just fuck! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um, so what the fuck is it? Well, you cast uh, Detect Magic, and you learned that yeah. it has all that magic on it. Um, do you have identify? Do you spell? have identify? I don't well. have identify. I Fuck. don't have identify. I'm well, sorry. In that case, I think really hard about evocation magic while looking <laughs> off into the distance. What happens? Anything? Nothing. The faint aura of the various different types of magic doesn't seem to change on the wicker belt. Nor does, it, of course, it is ruined. It is broken down and kind of cut oh. up, and it needs repairing. Oh. So you'll I probably need to get that thing fixed before you do any actual different magic. I'll find you some the sort ping of, of a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll find some sort of smith within Chester City. I mean, fair. Do you have? Actually, no. I shouldn't ask that. For you, the fucking witch sticker was all across your money. Anyway, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. I know a guy. <laughs> fair enough. Um, <gasps> I have a guess. We can as go with that to... later. Okay. Well, mm. that. <laughs> um. So about about the widow. Um. 
So we never specified, do I need to have the exact identification or can I make any guesses? Do I have a number of questions that I can determine? I'll make it very simple for you. Figure out his last name and then we'll be square. His last name? Do you think that his name is just simply Lancel? Is your no, name I just fucking Renee? figured. I just fucking figured. I wish I'd known that sooner. I would have asked him in fucking Rucklewood. Now I'm stuck with no information. Again. Like, fuck you in particular. I suppose asking questions was an important part of the job that you. I suppose asking questions was an important part of the job that you forgot. I did ask questions, but you kept it the feeling, feeling with my investigation, Mister. I am going to lean on le- le- this person so hard and make sure they're doing everything exactly right, like a fucking like hawk. If I. If my muscles had the capacity to, I would smile right now. Right. Oh, of course you wouldn't smile. You never do. She like sticks her own tongue at him. <laughs> and you guys continue on the trail. However, while you continue on the trail, while traveling along the grassy plains of northern Balkanus, you hear off in the distance, to the north, to the left of you, a faint rumbling. You see a sort of dusty dirt cloud on ground level, and it's getting larger quickly. Can I make out what's in that dust cloud, or is it just a cloud of dust? Everyone who wishes to can make a perception check. And yes, hello, please. Okay. <laughs> passive nineteen. You can keep your passive nineteen or roll to see if you might get one higher. But I don't want to lower. Good That's job, Renee. Wow. Yay! I'm okay. keeping the nineteen. Nineteen usually helps out. Twi- God, Luna doesn't see shit. Okay. Oh dear. Herbo swordsman. Herbo swordsman. Uh, listen, we love a good herbo. Yeah. Listen, we love a good herbo. Listen, okay, she tries. She tries. She Let does. her live her best life. So, pretty much everyone except Luna sees that this <laughs> this dusty this dust cloud that is quickly not only is it getting larger, it's quickly approaching you. It's approaching you almost in a perpendicular direction, and it's heading towards you fast. And you can see that there are creatures in it, some kind of silhouette. There are. <laughs> Hundreds of them. Is Please it a vehicle? <laughs> and they are heading are they towards you as if to cut off your path. Are they chacabos? Are they it, big birds? Is it a vehicle? Uh, with a pass of nineteen perception, um, it's sizable enough to be one. Uh, All but right. there are multiple. And if you would like to know what if it's a an animal of some kind, you can give me a nature check. Okay, I will do a nature. I will try. I don't like this. If this is that Genasi bitch, I, I swear I'm going fast. So, I think it's the protectors. <laughs> Renee, if how, it's the, I... how familiar would you say you are with Belkanus's wilderness? Um, I mean, I've traveled a little bit. I traveled a little bit in my time. Not a lot, though. Um, I would say that I can at least identify what can fly, what can run, and what can dig, and what can swim. I don't know the specific, like, this is a fawn, is it Amaridicus or something mm-hmm. like that, or like the, the, the like, species. You peer, uh, and you see the is, silhouette like... is something familiar, <laughs> as if it's no. the shape of some kind of horned beast. Like a no. large, with a very tall horn, it looks quadrupedal, or extra, like it's got more legs than four. Like a rhino what? with six, with eight legs. Oh no! And no. So this is not what I thought of them <laughs> heading towards you. Uh, I think it would be a fucking good time to find a different direction to go. Um, uh, that's there, a fucking stampede. What is, she's like? Uh, uh, is there no. like any convenient rock to take cover behind or there anything? There are. There are a few rocks around. I'm going to give everyone <laughs> one thing to do before this thing because this thing is speedy and it will overtake you. I'm letting you know now. Oh. Uh, I would like uh, to dive behind a rock. Yep. You may do so. Yeah, if there's anything that I can hide behind or stand on top of so that the thing doesn't run me over. Yeah, you, you're able to, you just analyze the situation, you take a few steps back, because now you are certain that they will not trample you. <laughs> <laughs> I take a few steps to the side. <laughs> yep. Fucking... Enoch, anything Fantastic. you're doing? Uh, I am... I am going to just try and find a place to hide within the rocks. Yep, yep. Okay, so you and Luna try to find some rock cover. And Renee? I mean, I'm squishy as fuck. I want to do something cool, but, like, I don't know if it would work, and I'm afraid. There's only one way to find out. (laughs) 
Um, because I can see that it's like some sort of thing and it's charging. Um, is it aggressively charging like directly at us Very or is it running so, away from yes. something? Uh, okay, in, I'm just fucking dodging. Screw that. In a direction <laughs> perpendicular to where you are heading. Then I'm just going to dodge it. Screw that. Yep, I yep. ain't dealing with that today. You're running away. And as you guys all take cover, you see the stampede getting closer and closer and closer. And you see a massive swarm of bark oh, hide beetles oh. cross your path. Holy oh. shit. It's a Magic the Gathering card. <laughs> <laughs> they're so cool looking. Oh, they're really cool, but please don't hurt us. And I love the beetle rhinos. Yes, you see a massive swarm of bark hide beetles. They're large, they're about carriage size, insects made of tree bark and leaves, scuttling, leaping, flying before you, <gasps> heading directly to the south. Welcome to another skill challenge. Oh, oh shit! In this, ba -da -da. One, in this one, you are going to, uh, if you so wish, uh, attempt to cross, uh, to navigate through the bark hide swarm. If you succeed, you will navigate through unharmed and unhindered in your journey. However, if you fail four times, if you get four failures, a significant portion of your day will be spent hopelessly traversing and being pushed around and blocked off by the swarm. Okay. Okay. I have an idea. I have an idea too. Who would like to go first? You can go first if you would like. I I think you should go first. Okay. Um so what I'm gonna do my idea that I had originally then. I didn't know how powerful these things were and I didn't know it was gonna be so what I'm gonna do, I see that this shit's happening and I see that we're not gonna be able to get out of it so easily. So what I'm going to do is I am going to basically start shepherding these things out of certain um, areas by casting Thunderclap. I'm oh. not trying to hit any of them. I'm casting it in an area. I'm probably going to inevitably at least like spook some of them, but I'm going to try and aim it to where I won't hit them. Okay, so you're just um, clapping, just trying to make a loud noise. I'm just trying to make a really loud noise that'll scatter them away from certain spots that we can get to. Okay. Feel free um, to make your smaller, own suggestion but... on what this role would be, but that sounds like an animal handling. Um, I was going to say either animal handling or just straight up performance, because I'm not trying to, like, direct yeah, the them two. in I'll a sense. I'll let you decide, then. Cool, because performance is a lot better for me. Yep. Wave's hand. I got 14. 14. <laughs> okay, you're clapping. You're making thunder claps, making sure to make yourself not seem aggressive in your performance as well. And you do push aside kind of a few bark hides that start to kind of morph and mold around this loud circle that you've essentially made. And you make somewhat of a dent in the large swarm line. Yeah, I figure that their like champagne is loud enough that it's not going to be too crazy to hear like big old explosions on top of that. Yeah, you can but see that a few of them, them. Who, do, uh, d who don't like change their course just kind of like quickly push themselves up and fly over you, almost like you've got That's an fair. invisible bubble around you. Excellent. Nice. Oh. Excellent. Do you all tr do you all trust me? You have to ask Mostly. me. Mostly. Mostly. Ignoring you. Uh, I'll, well, Renee, I'm going to need a little bit of help. Of course. Inspire me. I... Why do I have to inspire you? You're already inspiring to me, you piece of shit. And that's Aww. my bardic inspiration to you. <laughs> that's my bardic inspiration to you, nice. my friend. So <laughs> I would like to do something pretty out of left field. I would like to use my mantle of inspiration, the thing that allows me to connect my minds with everybody else and shuffle everybody across the board. Ooh. So I would use that in tandem with an investigation role to study the patterns of these beetles and effectively frogger everybody <laughs> through them. <laughs> nice. All right, that sounds reasonable. Let's go. Okay. Eh. Okay. Oh, you we only roll. Oh. You we analyze only roll their swarm pattern, kind of how they traverse. Plus. Oh my God! Plus yeah! that twenty-nine. 29! Holy shit! <laughs> and you reach into your oh, party fuck. members' minds. And you are able to help navigate them, although they themselves don't realize how safe they are. You 
casually walk into the swarm, hands behind your back, as if taking a stroll in the park, and they miraculously just miss you, as, as if faded. And the same happens to everybody else, even when they stumble and flinch and take a step back at a few that they can't believe their eyes that they're walking through this massive swarm. Renee can't help but beam, just because it's like, of course he fucking would. At yeah. one point, <laughs> at one point, I feel a gust and grab onto the brim of my hat to make sure it doesn't fly away. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> That's me. Yeah. Okay. You know, Would you like to go first? Would you like to go first, Aaron? Uh, <laughs> my idea is pretty fucking stupid, so I'll let you go. So first. is mine. So is mine. <laughs> Listen, oh, you're both the chaotic stupid. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Hey, do listen, it. I have a 12 in intelligence. I'm not that dumb. <laughs> do, it. <laughs> do it! Do it, do it. I'll, I'll let you go first. You go first. Okay, so um, I wanted to find a way to use my uh, my teleportations feature with my echo. Um, I wanted to Ooh. argue for an acrobatics check to, I guess as Nathaniel is kind of doing his, his like, corrective frogger bullshit, um, <laughs> every time... Um, I, I, I'm, as I'm walking, I imagine Luna. Luna's not very perceptive, so there's times where she almost gets hit. So she has Echo Dad out, and I would like to make an acrobatics roll to be able to switch with him in time to mm. miss. Nice, and then just like like resummon each time he is yep. hit, and like oh there, 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 essentially makeshift uh, makeshift teleporting. Yeah, let's do that. This acrobatics. is why I'm called. This is why I'm called the Ghost of Yezdol. I need to use this more. <laughs> Hell yeah. Please, please dice. Please dice. <laughs> you teleport, teleport, teleport. Hey, this is going really well and are immediately bashed in the face by one of the bark hides who brushes you off. You fall to the ground and the rest of them try kind of to avoid you. You avoid getting trampled, but you take a decent hit by this large, like essentially car sized creature and need to uh, regain I mean your ground. I made the dice gods very angry. Do I take damage from that? Uh, <laughs> like I'm a I'm a res, I'm a resilient woman, but I just got steamrolled by a did, rice, you take by eight a rhino. Damage. Eight blo Oh my god. Eight. All right. Eight. Make that three because you got the temp HP. Oh yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, I'm wee. fine. I'm what? absolutely fine then. I was like, oh no. That was. I I think. The necromancers have done more damage to me than that, so it's fine. And that will count as one failure, Enoch. Uh, okay. <laughs> kind of looking down at all of these, I'm gonna bamf out the wings, and I want to land on top of one of them. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> <Yeehaw time. laughs> yeah. Yeehaw, time. Yeehaw, chuckle fucks. <laughs> to the so, Yeehaw. What are you suggesting that skill would be? Uh, I'm gonna say that's <laughs> considering I want to land on one of these things and kind of direct it the way I want it to, it's gonna probably be animal handling. <laughs> okay, all right, <laughs> show me an animal handling. Stat. Hey, check a fact, <sighs> don't screw this up, I'll kick your ass, Bardic Inspiration. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, hell yeah, hell yeah, all right. Uh, come on. I'm just seeing Luna get fucking steamed no. out. <laughs> Wait, I don't you even have hold, the on. Six. hold on, it does, it's not that bad. That it's not fun. that bad. Hold on, roll the six. <laughs> yeah! It's gonna be a ten. <laughs> a ten. You fly onto one and you start to control a little bit, and it seems not that bad. Hey, this is pretty easy, and it starts to buck, and you mm -hmm. are launched up and down as you try to hold on to the front horn as it I bumps you up and down as your butt slams against its back. Oh, oh no! This this is straight. This is straight. Uh, rodeo riding. <laughs> and you Can are I? able to take the reins of this and direct it a little bit as you know it is a larger body and you're able to help navigate it and yourself into a deeper part of the swarm you are oh, nearly there you one have hand nearly in the made air it to the other the, side oh my one god hand in the air with the hat just <laughs> <laughs> just straight rodeo style this uh this uh, this bark beetle hell yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know what that is fucking insane <laughs> you know what i'll give you an inspiration for that <laughs> yeah! cowboy being a cowboy <laughs> one of these days i will join the inspiration club 
<laughs> Yeehaw, chuckle fucks. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, so, like, there was something that, like, I was thinking in my mind is, like, heads or tails, a tossed coin, a metaphor for the uncertainties of life. Of course, the wise player always cheats. <laughs> nice. God. Okay, you are nearly there. However, you not you have not completely succeeded the skill challenge yet. Who else wants to do something? Uh, I might be able to do one more. Yeah, Renee. Don't, don't maybe. Don't trust me. Don't trust maybe. Me. Listen. Um, I'm trying to. Th I'm trying to think if this would be like what this role would be. But either way, I think it'd be really interesting. Um, this is gonna look real stupid, but. Bang my hands on my chest and like I can like direct the rest of the beetle be like, hey, look, one of your buddies is going that way. Follow that one. <laughs> like mm. check it out. Like basically trying to look as big as possible, even though I'm teeny tiny in comparison to the beetles. And what do you think that would be? Um it probably would be an animal handling, now that I think about it. Okay, okay. Show me an animal handling. Then. It's it's not a great role for me, but that's the only thing I can really... Either that or intimidation, but I think I don't know. Up I'm not trying you. to spook I them. I think trying to make yourself big to push them away, I think, is va a valid explanation. Okay, well then I will... Uh, thank you. I will use my intimidation then. I will, look, and... I will look big and spooky and terrifying. <laughs> um, oh, Lord Jesus, help me. Hey! Not bad! I'll take it! You tell your frustrations with your boss and <laughs> almost yeah. pretend like each one of these has its face on it and, he sh and you start to shout no. at them. Ah, you will go that way! And make yourself large, throwing your hands in the air, jumping, making a racket while... Hey, you... bitch! Fuck out! I'll go back to me! <laughs> and uh, you imagine they're all wearing the hat? Yeah, they're all wearing the I believe in your tongue. It is called Sacre Bleu. <laughs> oh, fuck you. And of course, you know, Thunderclap is a cantrip, yeah? Yeah, it's a cantrip, so, so that, I can cast it as many times as I need. You're making clapping noises, kind of like hopping <laughs> up and down and pushing the beetles, scaring them away so that you have a clear path and you guys have made it to the other side of the Barkhide Beetles. Well done. <laughs> I just imagine I Luna this one. <laughs> I just imagine Luna crawling out of this, just like ah, that was awful. Well, we're and gonna everything hurts. <laughs> we're gonna Ooh. see if you're gonna <laughs> be able to keep that one in a little bit. Let me just get the rest of the ambience going. <laughs> While Luna is reeling at the tackles she just took. I look down at you. You seem hurt. <laughs> I only got run over by one of those things. I'm fine. <coughs> oh, God, uh, fuck, are you sure? <laughs> oh, that hurt. I'm fine. Do we have I'm any fine. more of that wine that helps you at least feel better on the inside? Please. <laughs> I, I, I was just asking if you had any. I'd like my bottle the other night. I, uh, no, I left the bottle at the tavern. God damn it. <laughs> I said it's like, please, Captain, like, you need it. I just bury my head in the grass. Can I just have five minutes, please? Gentle pats. <laughs> me, me just slowly like trotting uh, on the back of this of this one. Yep. And it starts to continue to buck and, and kick and skitter. Oh, 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 calm it down, calm it down. Can you actually calm it down though? <laughs> I'm gonna try. Okay, you're gonna give me another animal <laughs> handling. I'm not admiring you this time. This has to be okay. all you. I, I I have an inspiration from being cowboy. You do. <laughs> so we're Oh, let's God. uh let's just hope it's a, a little bit better than before. Mm, okay, 11. we have an eleven. Okay, we have an eleven. Okay, is it not a little bit better and than it, before? It it, it, it is. It's by one. It'll be a twelve. Get a twelve. Do you want to keep that twelve? Remember, if mm. I give you the outcome, you can't use your inspiration anymore. Uh, I I really want to risk it to see it. So up to you. Nah, Enoch's a bit re uh, reckless right now, so let's do it. Do it! Oh, Ooh. no! That means your Enoch's final roll is an 11. As you yeah. as you hold on and it starts to tire itself out and it seems subdued, but from what you can tell from its behavior, it doesn't seem like... It, it seems more tired out rather than it is kind of... Uh, submitted to you. Mm, it has well. not submitted to you, but it is tired. You were able to hold on pretty well. 
I will say. <sighs> I want I want this one to kind of stick around. I really want I really want it to stick around. I need a friend right now. <laughs> this oh might gosh. be someone's life. What am to be I? Fair. Then? And what you, am yeah. I? So while while you're you're just kind of <laughs> looking over, I can show you a close up. Hold on. Um, where is it? Where is it? Do I even have? Hold on. Um, I'm gonna put it. Jeez. Oh, did I not put this in the... Okay. Well, I'm going to quickly put this in uh, media and then... Um, yeah. Actually, can I just put it on the screen? Yeah, there we go. Um, oh. And I'm going to throw it in media for you guys. Thank you. Uh, so Where this is, it? Is, it? is what the Barkhide Beetles look like. Oh, oh, it's in our Discord chat. I see. Oh. All right. Barkhide Beetle. Baby. It's a... It's a four-cost green creature uh, with three-three trample and flash. <laughs> I've decided. I love these are all them. my. These are all MTG references. You can see they are them. between medium and large sizes. They come in a variety of sizes and colors as well, and horn shapes and different types of I flowers. You can see that there are green ones with pink flowers, black ones with blue flowers. But however, they are all seemingly made out of tree material, and you can see that their wings are made of some very thin and glossy amber material of some kind. Wait, did yep. question? Yep. The beetle I saw on my nose this morning, do I think this is yep. related to those fuckers? They look things? very, very similar in uh, in <laughs> their characteristics, albeit that one seemed to be made, you know, of small little leaves. Taking a closer look at their leaves, it does look like they're made from the same material and their wings are very similar in material as well. I so found I'm, a baby. That's I'm neat. just gonna say, not that we should do it, mm -hmm. but we do have four banishing crystals. No, no, we're <laughs> yes. not no, banishing no. the bug. No, we can poke no. ball the bug. We're not <laughs> poke no, a no, we are. No, These are very on. important balls. Anyway, <laughs> also I, on top of that, these, these might be ecologically important to the rest of. It also you know, might be so how about you stop hiding it like the, the cowboy that you are? How about you come down? While you yeah, say, might... right on cue, yeah. as you say, why don't you stop riding it? You can see that there's another Barkhide beetle that's bucking, and you can hear a very familiar voice. As you can see, there's a tabaxi, a disheveled tabaxi with a large yes! backpack. <laughs> yes! back. And he falls off and poof, lands on the, on the grass. Yes! <laughs> yes! And I'm gonna no, bring no, you to no. a move. And you can see that there is a bunch of Barkhide beetles kind of oh off god. the beaten path, oh. uh, off to the side. Oh my god, I love No Tails tokens so much. That's the no best tails thing ever. Token. And you guys can put your tokens on the board wherever you so wish. You can see Yay. that there is a small pack that's kind of left the uh, the main group to kind of graze and sunbathe. You can see a few of them are just stretching their wings and Why such. are there so Why many Nathaniel? Oh, sorry. The stop? game was glitching a little bit and it wasn't showing my token for me. Let me fix that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What got you. beetle am I sorry. on? Uh, we'll say this one over here. Like, yeah, this okay. one. Okay. Yeah. I love it was just saying we need to buy more wine. <laughs> Yay! Oh, God. Oh, yeah, thank God. so uh, you see No Tail, and he f he lifts himself off of the grassy uh, ground, and he spits out some grass and dirt, and he points to you and looks to what looks to be a tree full next to one of the Barkhide beetles, and he goes, Hey, wait a minute! I know those guys! He says what? A what? Who is that? Uh, yeah, you see them sunbathing, you see a tree folk, and it seems like they're dressed in some basic shepherd garbs, and they do have a long kind of stick as well, and, and they, they wave, uh, she, you can see that it's female, and, it, and she waves to you. She's got, like, a bunch of flowers covering her, the entire top of her head, all except for one eye. Uh, hello, just waves, like, hi. <laughs> I wave from the ground because I'm still in too much pain to get up. <laughs> Um, are, are these yours? As Renee will go and help Luna up. Oh God! Oh, please just let me stay down for a it's, moment. It's, it's, I listen. You're you're going to be fine. I can see that this is it is a big old step. I will give you some ice after a while. Is that okay? Or no, you he just got me. You just got me square in the gut. 
that uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll put you by a fire to warm up the, the muscles hopefully it will <laughs> you know <Good> <laughs> <laughs> I hate you Daffy God <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. uh, no tail pipes up. <gasps> oh yeah, I was in Great Balconus earlier until I met Olive. Say hi, Olive. And the mid-sized tree folk. She she waves her hand. Uh, she gives a little curtsy bow. Hello. 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 Uh, hello. Hello. Um. You know No Tail. Briefly, um, he was very kind and uh, sold us a little bit of his wares. Oh, speaking of, welcome back to No Trails Travel and Emporium. Y'all want to buy Please tell me you have. Please, please tell, tell me you have wine. Please, <laughs> please, please tell me you still have wine. And he puts yes. down his pack, and here is uh, No Tail Stock Two Bark Hide Boogaloo. <laughs> yes! And, yes! Oh, my god. oh my god, there's so much shit. I'm still right, poor! Of course, as usual, at the bottom are the general wares that he has. Yeah, I'm just taking two gold out of my inventory now for a bottle of wine. That's all I want. I'm... <laughs> I... Thank you, thank you. Pop cracking oh my that god, bitch he has a ring of like haste! Oh. He's got haste! And I'm poor! Yeah, we haven't gotten paid for anything we've yeah. done. No, we haven't. <laughs> yeah, no. We, Wait, I'm did sorry. <laughs> Just we add water temporary no magical money. tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's amazing. <laughs> but also, um, sympathy bracelets. Um, what the what the hell those? Oh, I got it, that off yes. of some guy in the streets up in the north. And then when I put him on, I felt his stab wound. Wouldn't recommend it. I recommend ah. wearing both. All right. I want that oh. smoke bomb, please. I like that a lot for totally different reasons. But yeah, you can you can go ahead and buy whatever you so wish. Um, here, I, I, I just feel I free to add them to your inventory bomb. and subtract the gold accordingly. Nope. Yes. I bought a bottle of wine and cracked that bitch open as soon as he handed it over. <laughs> <laughs> and chat, you can't, uh, I think you can't read the sympathy bracelets, but all it says is sympathy bracelets, 30 gold pieces, a pair of golden arm guards that reflects anyone looking at it like a mirror. No Tail says he used to have a business partner that he shared these with, but didn't like how it was making him feel all their same anxieties and reoccurring belly aches. Aww. So you basically mm. like share things. Interesting. I am so curious about those. I want them. <laughs> How much gold do you have? I have 36 gold, because we got to remember Mirth gave God. me 10 gold earlier because... I have one gold. What the fuck? I save yeah. money. You save money. You mean you haven't divvied out any of the loot that you guys stole from Necromancer yeah. courses? I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. I, uh -huh. I have never There's seen a, a Necromancer in my life. What are you broke? talking about? That said, uh -huh. I will not be buying anything today because I do want to save my money. Mm -hmm. Me too. I got what like, I wanted. I, I, I bought a smoke bomb. Nice. Yeah. Apparently, out even the most erratic caster's focus is holding a current ongoing spell. Mm. <laughs> Until I get Warcaster, that would be so good! Uh. Angie. <laughs> very uh, angie. I'm angie very angie. Angie noises. I'm um, 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 um. the woman. Yeah, you approach the uh, woman while I, I think will, about the we wares. We can do that after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do that after. Is everyone done shopping or are you still deciding? Mm -hmm. I'm still deciding. Da, da, Take your time. Da, 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 da. Okay, da, so we can do that da, while you're da, deciding da, da, then. Da, da, yeah, don't worry. Da, da, don't worry about me. Da, da, da. More often, most likely, I'll probably just say I don't need anything and then be sad later. So, <laughs> yep. so yeah, you <laughs> approach it. the tree folk woman and she, she gives you a little greedy wave. Nice to meet you. I'm Olive. Uh. Hello, Olive. Uh, these here your uh, your bark beetles? No, oh, not all of them. You see that one over there, and she points to the massive one, just halt, hawking down all the berries in this berry bush. <laughs> I'm assuming that one's got a bit of a bit of an attitude, or is it just a leader of its pack? <laughs> oh no, of course not. Uh, that is my companion, and. Uh, she oh. was restless and wanted to join with her family. We were stuck in Greater Balconus behind the walls, but no amount of bureaucratic nonsense was going to keep her from joining the swarm. As you see, they're migrating south, 
uh, to the swamps for mating season. My little girl here oh. has been keeping an eye on a very handsome blue horned daffodil. Oh. Well, I imagine it'd be a damn shame to separate any of these uh, fine beetles oh, it would. from their pack. But they, if you do manage to capture the heart of one, they are companions for life. Very faithful ones. And he goes back over to the to the one he was riding. Yep, you can I'll see it that it's mind. regained a little bit of its strength, and it's like backing away a little bit, and it hisses and chitters at you. I I raise my hands into the air, trying not to be threatening. Give me a performance check. Okay. Ah, my foot. Uh, Please don't uh -oh. let Enoch's rebound be a tree. <laughs> A beetle tree. <laughs> beetle tree! Give him a friend! Please. The boy needs someone to talk to. I was going to... Oh, no. Stop uh, rolling! We're gonna, yeah, we're going to take that first uh, sorry. one. I assume it didn't okay. show up when you clicked it, so you clicked it a bunch of times. I, I yeah. can't even see the chat. It's not popping up. Mm, weird. Well, uh, it, you, be, you yeah. rolled performance three times. We're going to take the first one, which is a seven. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And seeing well, you me, throw your me. hands up in the air, making yourself larger, it gets up on its four hind legs, lifts itself up, and raises its wings and chitters at you. Uh, e and it flies up it. into the air. <laughs> Give me a strength save. Uh, okay, uh, okay, yeah, no, he's dead. <laughs> no. Y'all need to <laughs> stop worrying about me. I swear to God, I'm going to shoot someone. I'm going to worry about you regardless. <laughs> All right. I it pushes 12. up into the air with such force, the gust of wind nearly pushes you. It knocks your hat off, though. <gasps> Not I, the hat. I, I back away for a step, and I get down on a knee. Oh, it flew off. Slowly. Uh, I pick up the hat. Hurt. Just hurt. And he's gonna just lay down on the grass for a bit. No tail leans in and whispers to the the other three. Who put a snake in his boot? It's uh, not a snake. It was something else, and it was very sad. Mm. Hold on. I would like to approach Enoch in the grass with a bottle of wine in hand, <laughs> and I just mm. plop down beside him and offer him the bottle. I think he could use this. I'm not a a wine person. It's alcohol. the only alcohol we got! Alcohol is alcohol. Hey, listen. You did your best in Ruggerwood. I think you did the best with what you could. I know you... I know you were just trying to do what was right. It's not about... what I think is right. And what is it about? And looking towards Nathaniel and... Renee... There is something we all need to talk about and I've been trying to find a better way to talk about it for a while now and well now seems like a good time yes is it actually what? is it best to do it in front of other people I was going to we, say we, probably we can leave if you want we could we could uh, oh, that would be perfect um after I buy two of those smoke bombs from you oh yeah of course Ooh, thank you for your patronage and he hands perfect. you the two smoke bombs rolls thank up his you. pack and he just kind of whispers over to Olive, hey, they need a little bit of profit time. And uh, she's like, oh, of course. And she does a little gesture and kind of like clacks her uh, bark arms together as a sound. <laughs> and the bark hide beetles start to kind of follow along with her, giving you some space. There they go. Yeah. There they go. Yeah. A few of them do mm. stay behind, but they don't seem to pay you any mind at all. Well, they are beetles, so we're I not worried think. about the beetles hearing this. Shit. Yeah, the, be yeah. the beetles, the beetles are kind of comforting to see. If I may, if we're going to have a relevatory conversation, I would like to do this, please. And I raise my hand up, and I'm going to twist my finger in the air as my arm slides across my vision, a line of bright pink sparks explodes out from my finger and falls across this entire area. I'm going to say, please uh, do not resist this. As I cast, cast Zone of Truth. Zone of Tr you oh, bastard! 
shit. Zone of truth, you bitch. Oh. I I I will automatically fail the save. Because okay. I, Same because it's I don't not know. Like I can lie. Yeah. I mean, and the thing is, Renee tr trusts Nathaniel enough that she's like, I don't give a shit. It's gonna help me learn more about these two. So shrugs. Lena well, doesn't know what this spell is, so she's just gonna let it happen. <laughs> uh, fantastic. I will be trying to resist it. <laughs> Thank you very much. You, <laughs> you, you bastard! You do not know that I that I have even tried yep. to resist it. No, you, nobody yep. knows. Uh, I am the only person who gets to know that. Know. Uh, yeah, to, which I, to which I will say, this spell prevents people from lying. Obviously, it doesn't stop you from saying... So, uh, it doesn't force you to speak. But I think that it is best for us all to speak clearly and truthfully. Linda just kind of squints at you. That was dirty. I apologize. I don't think it is now. We have been working with each other for a while, and we will continue to do so. Honesty is what's going to get us through this. And honestly, if you prefer not to say something, just say it, but fail not to say it. That's not a That's, lie, it's just saying. Will do, will do. For the record, she doesn't look angry. She's just kind of giving that, like, you little shit kind of Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, seeing My that, it's like, no listen, emotions. he has done this so many times that it's just, sure. just yep. let it happen at this point. He's, he's a little shit that way. She yep. just takes a really long swig of wine, just like, yeah, sure, whatever. Yep. My face betrays no emotion. Mm -hmm. uh, that said, I look to Enoch. Yes. I'll start from the beginning. When I was born, I did not know my mother. I do not know my father. I was abandoned at a church because the child that was born was me. You see, like, Luna's hand, like, gripping at the grass, like, breaking a few strands. Golden, geared looking eyes. The power they don't understand. Am I wrong? You're not. I was handed to the church, and Samuel told me it was a scared woman who had no idea what to do. And a few years later, I would make my first mistake as a person. I would tell my first and only lie. And what was the lie? I, I went on an errand for Samuel one night. And I went down to the ports in Belknest to get some supplies for the church. I told him I would not get into any trouble, that I would no go nowhere near that is dangerous, and I broke that promise because my curiosity got the better of me. How old were you? I was seven. So you were a child. Continue. I went to a tavern because I saw something that met my fancy, the first ever pistol I ever saw. It enamored me. It was long, it was made of wood and steel, but I, I wanted to know more about it and my curiosity got the better of me. And I ran into a group of pirates they wanted to abduct me, sell me, and Samuel, after hours of my not returning, came to save me. A battle ensued. The captain cut off my arm and slashed Samuel's eye. And I paid the price for my life. I... And after that day, all I could feel was this voice scratching at the back of my head. And I couldn't understand it at first, but it was 
always there telling me what to do, what is right, what is the law, what should happen. And I, for the most part, didn't resist it, but I disliked it. I hated it. But I knew it wasn't going to go away. And so, every now and again, we would confer on ideas. And a few years ago, I would create my first pistol. Mine. And I pick up objection. It took a while, but I didn't. But this voice, this alternate version, is restless, self righteous, and all consuming. Can I ask you a personal question? Sure. Does this voice ever... Is this voice the reason why you believe that a mistake you made as a child was some punishment? You didn't deserve that. You didn't deserve to have your arm removed. You didn't deserve to be taken by people who wanted to harm you. And that's not a punishment for telling a lie when you're a child, Enoch. I don't know if you've ever been told that in your life before, but you were a kid who lied about going to do an errand when you got curious. That's what children do. Does this voice in your mind try to tell you otherwise? The problem is, is that I have never felt like this voice is wrong. But the voices and they have they have a mind of their own. But did they ever tell you that you deserve to have your arm taken because you did something stupid when you were a child? Would you like to ask them? This yes. Was... Because if the answer is if the answer is yes, I have several several words. This was the inventor, the one that approached me in the bar. Wait, what? A few days prior. Enoch got very drunk and began drawing schematics for some machine. It was incredibly off-putting because I've never known Enoch to be incredibly sophisticated with design. At the, the time, I thought that it was simply strange mannerism. Actually, I didn't really know what to think of it. I thought that it might perhaps have been Enoch's god m moving through him while he was drunk. But now it is this. Am I correct? Nathaniel, have you ever been on a sailboat? No, I tend to stay on land. I want to be on a sailboat. Surrounded by the sea with no land in sight. Without ever the possibility of sighting land for days to come. To stand at the helm of my destiny. I want that. Just once. I want to be in the halls of the Scholar's Sanctum to feel the surge as wild horses go thundering by in the prairies. I want another meal with Samuel on top of the church so I can look him in the face again. I want another bottle of whiskey and then another. I want the warmth of a good woman and a cool set of sheets. Just one more night to enjoy the bards singing and dancing in my favorite tavern. I want to stand on the summits and smoke seashell with the monks and feel the sun in my face for as long as I can. Just then, Walk Enoch, on the wall your, again. your eyes go bright white, shining as if the sun were piercing through them. And a voice comes out of your mouth without... You all see a voice come out of his mouth as his mouth glows the same bright white without his lips moving. But guess what? We don't get that luxury no more. I suppose this is the one? That's the one, then? May I speak to him, Enoch? And I try and pull him back a bit. Give Most me of wisdom all, saves. Oh, oh right. shit. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, you know this, like, shit. 
You know, this, uh, like, kind of jitters you get when you're in, like, a really intense scene that you can feel them in your fucking legs. I, I can't <gasps> help but think, I'll be oh, inside no. you forever. That suck. With oh. Satan himself by my side. Critical fail. Critical uh, fail. Uh, <gasps> and your reins are taken from you as the ethereal angel-like fig- form that you saw Enoch when you were in Rugga Wood takes over and he stands up. Oh, woe I... is me, little Enoch. Everything I try to root, do right by people keeps hurting them. I stand up too. I was never sitting. <laughs> yeah, well, I had like specifically like flopped down Renee beside him. Renee was sitting so. and she quietly grabs the bottle of wine like, all right, <laughs> this is happening. Again. And now his lips do move in sync with his words as this figure has taken him over completely for the time being. And I can tell that little Enoch and you lot are doing what you believe is right instead of what is law, don't you? As a matter of fact, I follow the letter of the law. And he kind of you, points his uh, index finger to his head a few times. Mm. So to you, law is a child being punished. Law uh, is child. pulling the seeds from their roots. I want to know where you're from. What you serve. What cut of cloth are you? Hold on, I gotta roll him for the uh, <laughs> <laughs> zone of truth. Oh, right. Oh, yes. oh right. Zone of truth. Actually, that was so smart. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, is he gonna lie? He might try. Uh, he's gotta. He's gotta pass through the zone of truth. I mean. Oh shit. Oh yeah, he can't speak a deliberate <laughs> lie in the radio. He can't zone speak a safe. deliberate oh, lie right. in the zone of truth. Can I do something? What's up? As uh, he is about to speak, I would like to reach my hand because realizing that this is not Enoch, I'd like to reach my hand up and snap my finger, and I would like to cast mind sliver on him as he tries to re- it, it, like w- when it looks like he is about to try to resist my zone of truth mm. give me mind sliver is that the is I, that the, dis- I know th- is that the disadvantage that, one it, it's not disadvantage but it is a minus four or a I minus give, d4 i can give an extra because i can also add some lovely um unsettling I'm, words i'm gonna <laughs> We're say all working together but that's fair there's yeah, only hold off. i'm gonna say one person gets to do a thing this in, in okay. this you're instance. valid because it's yeah. a reaction totally that's valid fine. i grabbed wine okay. you're golden do that's it fine. nathaniel i just uh i'm gonna really quickly reach up mind sliver do it okay Ooh. does he make that save that's some good damage. If he makes his That's intelligence, some max damage. If he fails his intelligence save, he'll take six psychic damage, and then he will have to subtract a d4 from his charisma saving throw. Okay. He doesn't flinch as he does make the save, but does he Damn beat it. the zone of truth? Mm. This alter Enoch looks to you and says with full confidence, I am the will of Erethus. Will who now? Well, I can't say I have a lot of respect for Erethus, then, if he believes that a child, uh, uh, an innocent, if she, sorry, I didn't know she was if she believes that a child, an innocent, deserves to lose a limb for telling a very simple lie, one that every child tells. Oh, and so many priests nowadays say that soft shit all the time. I'm not a priest. Hmm. I am a sword. And I'm a warrior, I am not a priest, and I am not driven by any god. And this right here is why. All so stubborn. And the voice recedes in, and the light goes out, and Enoch, you regain consciousness and control. However, you did know, you, you were conscious to see and experience all of that happening. And just kind of breathing on the ground. <laughs> Most of all, I want to sleep. I want to sleep like when I was a boy before I lost my arm. Just give me that one more time. I have a question. If Luna approaches you, will you like resist or show signs that you don't want anybody near you? Or are you just kind of broken down? He's very broken down. She's going to hug you. He's... Aww. Aww. You don't belong to him if you do not want to. And... I don't know how, I don't know what we're going to do, but my freedom is something that I value, and I'll do whatever it takes to see that you have yours. Well, she's just 
very much like how a mom hugs their kid. Just I do not want to capitulate to him. Then you won't. We'll find a way. You hear a voice off in the distance, distorted and clearly illusioned. That, that you can't tell what the voice is, as there are too many mixes in. Um, you see someone say, you may very well get that chance soon. Shit. And you look Pardon? up, and you can see all the bark hide beetles immediately take a few steps back and immediately all look towards this voice and start chittering and making aggressive motions. And you can see a robed humanoid. Swear to God. You. <laughs> no! You recognize they are wearing spine of death robes. No! Oh my I God. Fuck you! Swear. It's again? again? I no, leave will. Us How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old <laughs> man? Oh my God. It is notably not blood stride. Oh, oh, I'm very confused. I still am standing up. I, I, and getting ready I to draw a sword. Where's I don't the have token? A, I don't have a token for this. Actually, I, I'll just put a generic necromancer token for now. Golden. I want to see it. We uh, don't have one yet. Calm down. I don't have one. Um, I'll just put generic. There we go. Human necromancer. Because you can't tell. They clearly have a visage over them. An illusion. They're not trying to make it convincing. Just, you know, hiding. Yeah, I'm uh, They're holding both up. hands up cautiously. And they're, they, you can see that their feet are positioned to ready to book it the other way. You mm. can't leave us alone for a single day, can you? I know you must be very tired of seeing necromancers. I'm tired of seeing the people that desecrated my father's grave, yes! I'm going to take a step forward. You're going to have to forgive me, but I am out of patience for the weak. Resist this. Oh. And we aren't, and we cannot talk. I hold up my hand, and I'm gonna cast hold person on him. Oh, he gives in and fails it purposefully. Oh my Ooh. god! I grip my hand, and as I do, his muscles tighten, as the nerves that can, like that control his motor function stiffen up. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Are they disguising their voice? They are. Okay, interesting. I am not. Why? Uh... <laughs> I just want to do uh, uh, come up behind Nathaniel and just get like hand on a blade, just ready for any him to tell me to kill this thing. Should I need to kill him? Um, the range of zone of truth is sixty feet. It is, yeah, that is. is true. And he oh. did yeah. walk into it. He did. Step it's a fifteen into radius it. sphere. It's a fifteen radius sphere. So. So what happened? It's cast like here. He's just outside of it. It's a fifteen radius. Oh. Yeah. Wow. That's unfortunate. Who cares? He's just oh. outside of it. Hopefully, I'll just beat him up. Hopefully the threat, <laughs> threat of decapitation will be enough. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. He can still talk with whole person, right? Yes, I think so, Okay, yes. continue. Continue your, your, your words then, um, Joe. I'm, I just wanted to ask that question just for my sanity. Yep, yep. And uh, he speaks, once again, voice distorted, as if there are several speaking at once. Hello, adventurers. I've come to parlay. I am unarmed. I am not looking for a fight. I only want to talk. About what? About the spine of death. And about your little alchemist friend. If you're trying to convince us to join you, you can fuck right the hell off. And friend is a bit of a... scrambles to his feet. He shakes his head. No, I want you to help me destroy the spine of death. Who are you? Lift my hood. Renee will I, walk I... forward. Yo, yeah, go, go. Renee, you walk forward. And you lift the hood. Lift the hood. And you see the face of Luke. You son of a bitch! And the, <gasps> the illusion goes away, his voice returns, and he speaks. Ah, uh, Cherie, it is good to see you again. And we're gonna end the session there. What? Yeah! <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> I'm sorry, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>